Good Sunday evening, everybody. Testing one, two, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Again, a decently quiet evening. A lot better off than what we saw in the forecast models from just a few days ago. We were looking for the potential of maybe some decent amounts of freezing rain for the area. That is not happening for tonight, so very good news where that's concerned. We are going to be seeing, again, kind of a sloppy start to the week, and we'll talk more about what we're going to be seeing throughout the course of the rest of the next 7 to 10 days, so stick around for more on that. If you've never tuned in here before, first of all, welcome to the show. We cover East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and the northern quarter of Mississippi with Memphis right there in the middle, what we call collectively the Mid-South. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, we'll have, again, more information coming up in just a little bit. The blue bar at the bottom of the screen, you can see the forecast scrolling on by down here. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can catch me on all these social media networks. You can also email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Seven-day forecast in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, and again, you can catch that at wreg.com slash weather, and we'll bring you more information about what's going on into the rest of the area. Drop your location, and if you've got a weather report out there, again, something from the rain gauge perhaps, or your thermometer outside the kitchen window, please let us know a little bit more about what's going on with weather at your location. If you're in the Mid-South or wherever you are, thanks for joining us, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on with the weather out there. Forecast in a nutshell, again, if you're just tuning in, you can catch the forecast down at the blue bar, but for the next several hours, numbers are really not going to be changing too much. Back in the lower 40s for the most part. Probably a few mid to upper 30s continuing through the area as we go into later on tonight, but really just not that much in the way of an Arctic blast. We've got these southeasterly winds, which are going to be kind of breezy overnight. That is going to keep the temperatures up, so we're not going to see much in the way of frozen precipitation. Now, a sleet pellet mixed in with the rainfall, maybe even a couple of snowflakes out there in parts of the area. That's, again, where we're going to be seeing the potential for anything falling in the Mid-South where it comes to winter weather, and there's not going to be much of that around for the next couple days. Slight chances? Yeah, we'll talk about that coming up in a little bit, but either way, if you're heading out the door pretty soon, you're going to need that umbrella, and you're going to need to hang on to it with some of those breezes out there throughout the course of the rest of the evening out in the Mid-South area. Let's see who we've got checking in for tonight. Uh, Debbie Brock from Walnut, Mississippi. Thank you very much. Barbara Reed, Any Ice? We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. Flippin, Arkansas, Christy Sparks, Denmark, welcome to the show. Let's see, 0.15 inches of rain in Burleson, Channing Kid. Thank you very much for that uh, weather report. Tasha Cowan from East Texas, but originally from Red Banks, Mississippi. Thank you very much for checking on in and everybody else throughout the rest of the area for tonight. Crystal Cackler from Lakeland, windy and slightly rainy. Thank you very much on that. We want cold weather and snow here in Helena from Cora Jones. Yeah, my wife and all of her uh, teacher compatriots would like to have a snow day at just about any point in time, but not going to be happening anytime soon. If you'd like to know more about the forecast, we'll get to that in just a little bit. We try to keep an eye on what's going on with the new Madrid Fault, and there was a bit of an earthquake, it looks like, in the Boot Heel of Missouri. The timing on that was mainly, let me see if you get the information on this on screen, a 1.4, and that was at 4.21 uh, earlier this morning. So it looks like we did have one earthquake in the Mid-South anyway. And if you felt anything like this, looks like it was just back on up to around the area north of Dyersburg. So if you felt this, head to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis or the United States Geological Survey at earthquakes.usgs.gov and fill out a Did You Feel It report to help seismologists understand more about the earthquake patterns, how energy travels through the Earth's crust, all that stuff you can help out with. It's called citizen science. You don't need a PhD to participate in a lot of projects, and there's tons of projects out there, not just earthquake studies, but all kinds of stuff that you, your kids, your grandkids can participate in along with you, so something to think about out there if you want to give that a try. Rain on the camera lens from Ole Miss at the Crosby Hall Construction Cam, looking at a lot of empty parking spaces and the student union back in the center portion of your screen, Vaught Hemingway Stadium there beyond the tree line looking back to the south. A little bit on the dim, drizzly side for this evening, the water towers north of Germantown High School. 
the Poplar Mendenhall Towers and Poplar Pike and Germantown Road just behind the weather information. 43 degrees, a little breezy this evening. Again, those winds are going to be gusting up to about 25 miles per hour, so that's taking wind chills easily down into the lower to mid-30s out across much of the area. View from our Baptist DeSoto Cam in South Haven, I-55 in both directions, and Goodman Road looking off toward Horn Lake in the distance. And again, a few speckles of rain on the camera lens for right now. But beyond that, we don't have much of anything going on uh, at this, in this point of time. So again, the possibility of seeing some more rainfall overnight could start to slow some travel down, but otherwise not looking too bad at I-240 and Poplar from our Hilton East Memphis camera. And looking at the area of Poplar back toward Park and way back down the line to around uh, Quince Overpass for this evening. Travel has been a bit of a concern, not for Memphis. Memphis International Airport showing up clearly on our I-240 and Airways camera. Tower and terminal seen very clearly for this evening. Mostly cloudy with some drizzle out there and no delays to report at Memphis International, but we have been seeing a lot of delays early this evening around portions of the Midwest. Got delays of 45 minutes plus at O'Hare in Chicago. Salt Lake City is seeing a lot of delays due to some weather conditions out that direction. Dallas-Fort Worth, some backups from various other airports as well. Now, JFK, good news at this time. Everything moving along for right now, but they were seeing some pretty major delays as well. So if you're traveling tonight, catching a red eye, definitely want to call ahead and check to see how things are going. This information easily available to you. All you have to do is go to fly.faa.gov and we'll keep you updated on any other delays coming up in the rest of the evening, so stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. Speckles of rain in Whitehaven, P uh, Pages, Pages Motley, hope I'm saying that correctly. Rain in Dyersburg, Cheryl Hildreth Turner, thank you very much. Windy and light rain in Milan, Tennessee. I never know if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I hope that's correct anyway. I should know by now. I've been here long enough. Uh, shivering, Tammy Renee, hope to help you on that one. Uh, get some warm weather in here in the next couple of days. We'll talk about that for just a little bit and also giving you more details on the rest of your forecast coming up pretty soon. Now Shelby County, Memphis metro area proper, not seeing a lot. Some showers just northwest of us moving away from us back to the north and the east. Everything is pretty well scooting along to the east-northeast at about maybe 30 miles per hour. We're getting an occasional interesting signature showing up right back around Corinth. You're noticing again a little bit of some purple showing up right about there. The radar beam, the farther it goes away from the site, the more it's pointed upwards into the atmosphere. So what you're looking at there is several thousand feet up, and the rain several thousand feet up turns to snow or ice, and that's what that is detecting right there. But I would not be surprised to see the potential of more of this turning into some light rain mixed with snow, especially in the colder areas out there. But most of what we're looking at for right now, especially down to our south and west, all this is moving up our direction, and we'll continue to see more chances of rainfall throughout the rest of the evening. So again, more chances of rain, slippery roadways, not frozen, but again, remember that rain changes the entire physics of driving, and you've got to slow down out there to make sure you've got enough braking distance and also paying attention to what's going on with the roadways. So this out here will be lingering through daybreak, and you're going to need to allow for some extra time to get to where you're going out that direction. Uh, high temperature in Houston today, 71. Zaloria James, thank you very much uh, for that one. One, making us uh, wish for spring a little higher on that one. Marsha Howe Malney, rain in Corinth. Thank you very much for that one. And also to everybody else for checking on through for this evening. Latasha Jones, when will we get snow? Well, unless you see a snowflake out of this mess right here, you're not going to be seeing too much of anything in the near future. Now, we do have a couple of chances coming up. We'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Mary Grisham from Tishomingo County. Welcome from Northeast Mississippi. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Francisco Rivas. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, welcome to the show from the heart of Texas for tonight. Light rain and blustery wind in in Somerville, Cynthia Jacqua. Hope I'm saying again that correctly. You think with a name like Anik, I would know how to pronounce these at this point in time. Uh, Deidre Ransom, uh, what about Atlanta weather? 
Well, right now there's not a lot going on in Atlanta, but that rainfall is approaching from the west and from the southwest. So we'll be looking for more chances of rain heading in that general direction into the next couple of hours. But anything involving the chances of snowfall, that's going to be back up to the north of us. Notice more of that is turning over to snow as we get into around the plateau area. Cookville, Crossville, anything east and southeast of Nashville starting to get those pink and purple signatures, which is rain mixed with or changing over to some form of frozen precipitation. But that is still well to our east. Here in the Mid-South area, again, we've got plenty of rainfall to spare, and we're going to be seeing more of this coming on through. Now, flash flooding, severe weather, nowhere close to that much moisture or being that unstable. So we don't see any threat of that happening for right now. So that's great news. But if you're going to be sticking around for, again, the forecast, we've got some interesting changes coming up where those numbers are concerned. So stick around uh, for more on that. Tommy Jones, a little rain in Hernando. Thank you very much on that. Peg Watkins, any snow in the forecast? We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. So stick around for more there. Sugarland, Texas, Stephen Carroll, welcome to the show. And John Pace. Is this just rain? At the surface, yes, but several thousand feet up. What you're looking at here is probably mostly snow and ice dropping on down into those warmer temperatures down toward the surface. So way up here, it's snow and ice. Farther it gets down here, it's too warm for anything but rainfall. It all melts and falls as liquid rainfall. So we're not looking at any snowfall here at this time. And here's why. These temperatures at the surface, way too warm for anything but rain. And we've gotten some rain in the rain gauges, but not exactly talking about gully washers here. Fractions of an inch across much of the Mid-South, and temperatures remain back in the mid-upper 30s to the lower 40s. Some of the warmest numbers out there are back in the mid-40s with the occasional breezy winds. Live real-time weather information, which you can get on your computer system, just go to, again, this website address, wrhg.com slash weather, and click on the Weatherbug logo for more. All right, let's run the numbers into the rest of the night. News Channel 3 at 10, looking at numbers in the high 30s to the lower 40s. It's not going to be frozen, but it is going to be a very cold rainfall out there, so definitely going to feel pretty bright risk as you head out the door for wherever you may be going. By rush hour tomorrow morning, News Channel 3 daybreak temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Those winds continue out of the southeast, and that'll help to keep the numbers up through daybreak. As we get into around dismissal time for the kids, for school, for those of you heading back to school, for those of you already there, welcome back to the classrooms. And again, seeing the chances of rain dwindle slowly as we go toward dinner time tomorrow night, but that should do it for the chances of rainfall. Not really looking at too much else beside the fact that we're just going to get some scattered showers out there. Now, rain should continue for most of the rest of the day tomorrow and again starting to dwindle into the afternoon but still not seeing thunderstorms still not seeing anything in the way of snowfall that's going to be measurable anytime soon for tuesday this is normal for this time of the year lower 50s is almost exactly where we should be and we'll be seeing mostly cloudy skies kind of mixed in with some sunshine but not exactly the greatest conditions out there now lower 60s very warm as that southerly wind continues to head up this direction and gives us more chances of shower but I'm not expecting those to be starting on Wednesday until after sunset. So the day should be dry, breezy, and very mild for this time of the year. Maybe even a time to drop the convertible top for just a little bit, maybe if you're wearing a jacket. We'll stay in the mid-60s for Thursday, but that's also where we ramp up the best chances of rainfall, and that'll last into Friday when the temperatures take a bit of a tumble. Now, some of that leftover moisture, as the moisture peels on out of here, cold air wraps around the backside of that storm system, and some of that moisture mixing in with that cold air might again, underscore might give us the possibility of some snow showers very late Friday night into very early on Saturday. Confidence is not high at this time for anything involving any precipitation sticking to the ground, but that's our next best chance of snow showers at this point as we go into the next seven days. So that's about as good as it gets. And again, this is going to be very nice, but keep in mind we are still in January, so we're going to be getting back to well below normal for this time of the year, back in the mid-upper 30s as we head into the next weekend. Now, let's take a look at the federal holiday coming up as we go toward next Monday, the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, making it a day on for service, volunteering across the mid south to make a 
the Mid-South a better place or wherever you're checking in from your community. Here in the Mid-South, it's going to be a little bit on the cool side. Temperatures over the last few forecasts have gone from very balmy down into the lower 40s for this one. But the best news is that we're not looking at anything in the way of rain or snow or severe weather, all of which we can get and a whole bunch of it at this time of the year. Not seeing that for right now. So the good news in the Mid-South area that if you're doing the volunteer work outside, first of all, thank you for doing that. And also, secondly, looks pretty good for getting outdoors. It will be a bit brisk with temperatures in the 40s. Right after that, very early back to work or school on next Tuesday. Again, that's about 10 days out. We may see the possibility of some more snow showers out there, but we're just not looking at really too much of anything out there. So yes, I know there's a lot of people out there who are looking for the snow showers and maybe a snow day from school. Believe me, I know that. I'm married to a seventh grade science teacher and all of her friends ask when the next snow day is going to be. And right now it's just not happening at this point in time. Amy Cisco Harrison, glad to see you're liking the 65. We'll see if that sticks around for the next uh, couple of days at this time. Light rain in Walnut. Deborah Gray, hold the snow, please. Well, this is not my table, but I'll see what I can do about that. So thank you very much. Shiloh, Illinois, rain falling. Sid Brantley, thank you very much uh, for stopping on by. Uh, Avis Harma Della Brathenier, hope I'm wow, hope I'm saying that even close to uh, good. Uh, could use a snow day there. Thank you very much. D. Leach checking in from Old Bridge, New Jersey. Ground covered in snow and 16 degrees at this time, so a little bit brisk. It sounds like back toward New Jersey for this evening. We'll have an update on that forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. You can catch my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations through midnight and into tomorrow morning, and I'll be on back with Bob and Josh tomorrow. morning morning at 8 o'clock. If you'd like to check out the forecast on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. If you can't listen because you're out of town, check them out online, talkbacklivenetwork.org. Mostly sports chatter, but they do a lot of stuff with community events, and they try to get as much news and other information in there as well. So again, check in with Bob and Josh. Also on Twitter at Talkback Live on the hashtag there if you'd like to check in. And of course, our own Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early starting at 4.30 Monday morning. We'll have a longer version of Weather Overtime coming up in just about 10 minutes or so as we get into uh, my forecast, again, coming up on my Facebook page. We'll also take a look at weather where the troops are. It's going to be a semi-regular segment from now on, uh, keeping an eye on what it looks like at various areas where you may have loved ones stationed, friends, family, loved ones. Not everybody could make their way back for the holidays because of the fact that someone's got to stay on duty out there. So we'll take a look at weather where the troops are in just about 10, 15 minutes and show you more about what's going on at various military posts around the world if you'd like to keep up to date with that. We'll also show you where you can get that information. Plus, in the next couple weeks, we'll be looking for severe weather chances to really start ramping up as we go into our prime severe weather season between January and roughly late April, early May, somewhere in there. Now is the time to get ready for severe weather, and we'll show you what the National Weather Service is going to be doing to help you get ready for stuff like that. So definitely want to stick around for more on that coming up in just a little bit. Again, that'll be at about 8.30 on my Facebook page, and you can get there from going to wreg.com slash weather, or you can check in at facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. You'll find me out there someplace, so again, d definitely want to see again more about what's going on into the Mid-South. There you go. Kim Bledsoe, Eason. Rain has stopped in Mumford, but forecast looks good. Uh, heading to Minnesota. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a nice change for you. Uh, love the 60-degree reading. Mary Gibbs, thank you very much. Mary White from West Memphis. No rain or snow here. Collierville, 45 degrees. Judy Smith Roger, thanks, Rogers, thank you very much. And Sharon Simon Keller, welcome to the show from uh, Paris, Mississippi. And thanks to everybody for checking on in for our foreshortened version of Weather Overtime for right now. Again, plenty more information coming up in just a little bit. And don't forget, News Channel three at 10 on time tonight after basketball finished up. Kristen Holloway will have all the day's news. Mike Sadie's got to wrap up the day's sports and yours truly with updates on what's going on with your weather forecast. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the evening and throughout the rest of the week. Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning with News Channel 3 Daybreak.